Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is an exciting one. I know I say that about a lot of my videos, but we have another drugstore slash affordable look today, which I love. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a full glam look using all products that are $10 and under. So you can get them at Ulta, you can get them at the drugstore, and these are bomb. I actually did a video like this last summer. Still love those products. I will link that video down below. I really like the look that I created actually in that video. I still love those products, and it's funny because I get a lot of questions on a daily about old products, and it's not that I don't love old products that I used to recommend to you guys, or if I talk about a new foundation, it doesn't mean that I don't like the foundation that I was talking about, let's say, a month ago. It just means that I have new products to recommend to you because I always am trying out new makeup. Especially as a YouTuber, I always feel obligated in a way to be trying out new products because I love talking about products that I love to you guys and raving about them constantly, but at the same time, I know that it can be annoying and overwhelming for you guys hearing about me talking about, let's say, the same foundation for like six months straight. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like I I always want to be trying out new things so that I can recommend new products to you guys. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyways, a lot of these products actually I have been raving about for forever, but I wanted to talk about them again because they are amazing and I think you guys need to go out and get them. I really love the look that I was wearing in my October favorites and I actually got so many requests for it, so I figured I would show you how I got it and show you how you can get it as well using all affordable products. So I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Don't forget to grab a snack and let's jump into it. All right, so we are starting off with a bare face as always. I usually do my brows first because I use the same products all the time and you guys have seen me do it a million times but I like to show it once in a while so I'm gonna start off with my ColourPop brow pencil in Bangin Brunette. This is my absolute favorite brow pencil. I think it's like five or six dollars. I literally just stocked up on this brow pencil because I ordered the new ColourPop stick foundation and I bought three more brow pencils like I'm literally obsessed this pencil though was actually available on Ulta's website but since I was already ordering on Colourpop's website I figured I would just get it on there but yeah I'm so happy that you can get it at Ulta too because it's like just super convenient I love it so I like to literally just outline the natural shape of my brows and it just kind of acts as a guide for me and it makes it super easy when I'm filling in the rest because my brows are different and they're super sparse so this helps a ton for pomade on a daily I normally use my Anastasia de brow because that's just what I have in my collection it's one of my go-to's honestly there's a lot of really great brow dupes for that like NYX Tame and Frame is really good I love the LA girl brow pomade Koki Cosmetics has a really good pomade I mean there's just so many nowadays that I feel like you honestly don't need the Anastasia tip brow if you don't want to spend that much money on it. So I'm going to be using the one from LA Girl today. This one is in dark brown. I love it. So I'm going to use this angled brush from LA Girl. This is the 207 brush. It's literally just a brow brush. Any brush will work. So at this point, it's kind of like fill in the dots type of thing. Because I already have the brow shape, I'm just kind of filling in the gaps. And you see, it's so easy. I feel like my brows have definitely evolved. I mean, they're not perfect, but when I look back at my old videos, I'm like, Jasmine, what the heck? Back then, you know, I just, I thought I was hot, but I was not. Okay, so my brows still look crazy, but that's what the next step is for. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. I have this one in shade beige. It's basically just it, literally a concealer in a jar. A little bit of a thicker formula, so I don't use this for underneath my eyes. I literally just like to use this to carve out my brows because it's like the perfect formula. And I'm gonna use this angled brush from BH Cosmetics. It's like super old. I got it like two years ago, but I love it. It's from their dot collection. I seriously can't not do this. Like if I don't do this, I can't finish my makeup like not even kidding. So I'm gonna use this concealer brush This one is from Amazon I will leave all the brushes or brush kits that I mentioned listed below if you guys want to check them out But I'm gonna just take that and just blend it out. I find that with a brush It's just a lot easier. I used to just use like my beauty blender, but then sometimes I would smudge the concealer onto my brows so I like using the brush. And you could totally use that concealer to prime your lids as well, but I have a new favorite eyeshadow primer that I have been loving, so I'm gonna just use that today. I'm gonna move into eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. I love this stuff, and I honestly used to never use anything like this. I would just use concealer on my lids, but ever since I discovered this, actually I lied, just kidding, no. Cause I discovered this like 
few months back but i was like looking through my makeup and i've been trying to like use new products in my makeup collection because sometimes i feel like i get in a rut with my products and i just keep using the same stuff over and over again i have to like train myself to use all the makeup that i have in my collection this has been in my collection so i used it like a month ago and i was like oh my gosh why did i ever stop using this like it's so much better than using concealer because everything actually appears on your lids obviously it's not like a concealer so you can still see like my natural lid color and everything so it's not going to conceal any veins or anything that you have but it's a really really nice primer so once it dries down it just dries down like perfectly and oh i just love it so i have quite a few eyeshadow palettes that i really love that are affordable i think i want to do a video on all of my favorites but today i'm going to be using these from makeup revolution these are the reloaded eyeshadow palettes i love these they are only like seven dollars and they're amazing the only one that didn't work for me was the one that looks like subculture but other than that i think these little palettes are marvelous for seven bucks with all the shadows that you get i'm going to use iconic fever today and i'm going to start off with that really light soft brown color and i'm actually going to use that all over my lid it's kind of like the same color as my lids, but it's a little bit darker. So I'm gonna just take that all over. And I'm using a Profusion blending brush. I think I got this in a brush kit from Profusion at Target. I'm not really sure, honestly. Sticking with the same palette, I'm gonna use the other darker soft brown. It's a little bit darker than the one that I just used. And I'm gonna be using a collab blending brush. I'm gonna take that and just apply that right into the crease. So the look that I'm gonna do today, I was wearing in my October favorites, as I mentioned to you guys in the intro, and I guarantee you it's not gonna look exactly the same <laughs> because every time I try to recreate a look, it never looks identical, but I'm gonna try my best. These palettes are really nice too because they're buildable and when you do build them up, you can see they're like super pigmented and they're smooth. So I'm gonna build this shade up quite a bit. I have almost all of these palettes. I purchased them myself because when they first came out, I was like, uh, $7? Yeah, I need them. I'm gonna use the orange color in this palette and I'm gonna apply that pretty much right where I just applied the other one, but a little bit higher up in the crease because I really want that orange to pop. And I'm gonna use a BH Cosmetics blending brush. Again, this one's from the Dot Collection. I'm gonna take that color. I guess it's kind of like the one that I just used. Honestly, it's just blending all together, but that's okay. Okay, then I'm gonna jump into the Reloaded Velvet Rose palette. This looks super similar to Soft Glam from Anastasia. So what I'm gonna do is take that sort of brick red color and I'm gonna be applying that on the outer crease. I'm gonna use this brush, which is a white haired brush from Amazon. I'm gonna focus that color right just on the outer part. And I wanna add a little bit of darkness to that. So I'm gonna take the burgundy shade right up top and I'm gonna basically just mix the two. So I'm looking straight ahead because I wanna get that color right in sort of like the socket of my crease. And again, I'm gonna build it up. And I'm starting off with a little bit, little bit of product. <laughs> oh, I can't talk. Um, these palettes, by the way, are super pigmented. They're a little powdery, but I mean, most eyeshadows are, honestly, even my high-end ones. Like my Anastasia shadows are powdery and I get fallout with them, so it's really not a big deal when my affordable palettes do it, so. Do you hear the motorcycle? It's actually Halloween today. Um, so I'm probably gonna be hearing the doorbell soon. I'm not using the same exact palette that I used in my October favorites to create this look because that palette that I used is more than $10 and I wanted to keep it all under 10, but it's pretty similar. You know, it's a bunch of warm shades, which is what I used um, that day when I did this look, so. Okay. Mm, I love this. Okay, let's add a little bit more darkness. You need a different brush. Okay, this one also is from Amazon. This is a brush kit. It was like $18, you guys. I talked about it in my last monthly favorites, and seriously, oh, I love these brushes so much. I use them like constantly every time I do my makeup because they're so good. 
and they're so cheap. Like when I first started getting into makeup, I feel like the only brushes that seemed to be good were from Sigma or Mac. And I remember I saved up money <laughs> to buy a Sigma brush kit and it was very expensive at the time. I think it was like almost $200. And like, that's crazy. Like now I wouldn't spend that much money on a brush kit. Like, Cause I mean, one, it's unnecessary. Two, it's unnecessary. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is pretty much the star of the show. I'm gonna add the glitter sort of pop to my lids. So what I did last time, I wasn't really sure if I wanted glitter or not. So what I ended up doing was applying a shimmer shade. So I'm gonna do the same thing now just to kind of make that glitter shadow that I'm gonna use pop a little bit more. You don't have to, but that's just what I'm doing. I'm trying to follow along to the best of my ability with what I did last time I did my makeup like this. All right, I'm gonna use my Anastasia number 18 brush. I know this is not affordable, but it's really, really good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that sort of like pinky shimmer color in the Makeup Revolution palette, and I'm gonna just apply that shade in the inner third of my lid. See, like even that is really, really pretty and I didn't even spray my brush. Makeup Revolution is just so good. I'm planning on doing a video, by the way, with all of my favorite products from Makeup Revolution. That video is long overdue, but it's coming, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited because this brand is just like incredible. You could obviously leave this like this, but I'm gonna add some glitter. So I'm gonna be using the Flower Beauty Warrior Glitter Shadows. You guys have to go out and try these. They are amazing and they have, I think like five or six shades. I haven't tried all the shades, but I wanna get like the rest of the colors because they're that good. So I'm just in love. I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to literally pat it where I applied the shimmer shadow. So I guess it's good to have the shimmer shadow too because it kind of acts as a guide for where you wanna put the glitter, which is nice. These don't crumble, they don't irritate my eyes, and I really like them because it's a really nice way to add you know, a little bit of oomph to your look without it getting super messy. Like I really like glitter, I just hate working with it because it's so messy. Okay, so I'm gonna use an angled brush. This one's kind of fluffy a little bit. Again, it's from Amazon. I feel like I sound like a broken record, but I'm gonna just kind of blend out the edges of that a little bit and just diffuse the product out a little bit. And if I have to add more, it's fine. I just don't want this to look harsh. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I like to do whenever I bring my crease color a little too far in to like towards my lid. It kind of creates this shadow that I really don't like. So what I'll do is I'll just take the same concealer brush that I was using earlier. Since it does have a little bit of leftover concealer in it, I'll just take that and kind of run that very lightly in that area. And you see it kind of lightens it up and it's not as dark because I have just a really bad habit of, like I said, dragging that color in a little too far this way because I'm pretty heavy handed with my makeup. You guys know that. So I feel like that helps a ton. And I'm just gonna go back in and kind of just blend the edges out. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply these e.l.f. Line and Define eye tapes. I also talked about these in my October favorites. I love these for winged liner. They are literally little eye tapes like this and I am obsessed because it just makes doing your wings so easy. So I just like to apply them right on the edge. Now I'm gonna do my wings. I'm gonna use this one. This is definitely an OG for me. I've actually been using this for quite some time, but I love it. This is the Flower Beauty Liquid Liner. This one is in Onyx ink, which is just a black.
Okay, for lashes, you guys already know Kiss Lashes are like one of my favorite brands that are super affordable. They have like so many different styles, which I love. So today I'm using the Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection in Teddy. These are beautiful. They're so wispy, so fluffy, and just so good. So as always, I'm gonna be using my Kiss Lash Glue. How long have I been using Kiss Lash Glue? I think three years at this point. I've probably gone through, I don't even know how many bottles, like 20 bottles of this lash glue. It's just so good. In the meantime, I I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. I usually don't like doing this on camera because it's like kind of creepy, but I'm gonna use my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in shade Very Black. You don't want to do your falsies and then there be a gap right there. It's just not gonna look good. Like see that gap right there? It just makes your falsies look super like unblended, so. I am going to pop the lashes on and then we'll move into the skin, so I'll be right back. Moving into the skin, first I'm gonna go in with the Koki Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer. I love this stuff. I just feel like it's a really nice formula. It's kind of like a gel consistency, kind of. I like how it's not a silicone-based primer. I don't feel like it necessarily gives my skin like a glow, like shimmer, like a Becca backlight priming filter type of thing, but I do feel like it really does hydrate my skin and it makes it really, really smooth. Okay, the next product, you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about it, but I can't stop using it, for real, it's so good. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. I like to use this before and after my makeup and mm, I just love it. This stuff really makes your makeup last, like no joke, not even kidding. I was using Fix Plus the other day because like I said, I'm trying to like go through products that I haven't really used in a while. And I felt like, like I like Fix Plus, but I was like, I felt like my makeup just didn't last throughout the day. Like it kind of broke up on my face. But with this, which is like $6, that doesn't happen. So for foundation, I have so many favorite foundations. Like I could probably do a two hour video just on my favorite foundations, not even kidding. So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I really love this foundation. Now, I, you guys know I would be using my Makeup Revolution foundation, but that one is more than $10. And this one is really, really good if you're gonna be wearing your makeup for a long period of time. So I was using this like nonstop in the summer. And when I had my graduation party, it was like super hot. It was in May, so it was like, humid and gross out and this literally lasted throughout the entire night it looks beautiful in pictures so it's just a really comfortable formula even though it is matte so if you need a good foundation and you have oily skin and you want something that's gonna last like throughout the night that's not gonna budge you gotta get this one and it's like less than ten dollars so I'm gonna use the shade M10 I think I'm gonna mix a little bit with M40 I think M10 is gonna be pretty good for me just because I have no self tanner on I'm gonna use my elf total face sponge because it's my favorite. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good color. Perfect. I love when that happens. And this foundation is buildable coverage, so it's not full coverage right off the bat, but you can get it to be full coverage. Mm, I love it. I forgot like how good it is. That always happens to me whenever I stop using products that I really loved at one point, because like I said, I'm always using new products. But when I go back to them, I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I stop using it? Like right now, this looks so good. For concealer, I am using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. When I first used this, I wasn't a fan of it, but then I used it again and I was like, oh, this is good. This is probably a little too light for me at the moment. I really don't like my concealer to look this light, but let's just go with it. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Oh, it's gonna be a little too light. I used to use my concealer like so, so light, and now I just like it to look a little bit more natural under the eyes, but this is what I have. I need to like stock up on my drugstore concealers because a lot of them are pretty outdated or I literally don't have any product left. And I'm still using this e.l.f. sponge like it's just so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like, I haven't even really used any of my other sponges. Literally, this is the only one that I've been using. Except I just used the one from Forever 21 that I got that I showed in last week's video. I really like that one, but I like this one still more. Going back with that concealer brush that I was using earlier, and I'm just gonna use that to clean up the inner corners. Even though this is super light, I need to build it up because I want a little bit more coverage. 
I love this formula though. It's very, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. I love the Rimmel Stay Matte line because it really keeps you matte. It's just a really nice finish. It doesn't make your skin look dry or anything. So I'm gonna just use this with my sponge once again. This is my favorite way to use my powder. I honestly don't ever use a brush anymore, like rarely for my translucent powder because I feel like nothing looks as good as with a sponge. And this doesn't give you a white cast in photos. And with the excess powder, I will go in and set my face. This is just the way that I do my makeup. I don't know, it's so weird, but right after I'm done doing my powder, I have to set my brows because if not, I usually forget. And for some reason, I always remember right after I set my makeup. So this is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Shade Espresso. Another product that I have been using for months, like just back to back, it's perfect. I think you would really like this brow mascara too if you already have really good brows because it's like a really nice formula. It just makes your brow hairs look like, I don't know, like just really fluffy. I, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's just good. So go out and get it and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, for bronzer, I'm just gonna use a classic, the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Duo. This is just my favorite. I love this bronzer. I love it when I'm tan. I love it for now, like when I'm really fair. The up close shot that I'm showing you guys is actually the prettier version because most of my palettes always look like this. I like to really get in there with my bronzer and like, <laughs> that's how you know you're really bronzing your skin and like bronze like in my hair just so that it looks as natural as possible. I mean, obviously this is a full on glam look. There's nothing natural about it, but. I like to take a powder brush. This one is from Equate. It's called the powder brush. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Sometimes if I use a little too much or just want it to look a little bit softer, I will do this. And then what I'm gonna do is do a little bit more sort of contouring-ish. I want something a little bit more with an ashy tone. So I really like this little LA Girl Pro Contour Powder Duo. This color for contouring is a really nice shade because it's kind of like the Wet n Wild one, but it's a little bit more cool tone and ashy. So it's really nice for contouring and it's not too much. More blending, and I'm gonna clean that up with some more translucent powder. I was almost gonna use a blush that was $11, the L'Oreal Peach Blushes. These are really good, but again, they're $11. So, good thing I caught that mistake. I am using my Burt's Bees blush in Toasted Cinnamon. I have probably talked your ear off about this blush too. These, in my opinion, are a dupe for Anastasia blushes. This formula is out of this world amazing. So I am gonna just apply this with this brush from TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh, if you love bronzy toned blushes, you will love this. I also really like the color Bare Peach, but I feel like this one just kind of matches with the look a little bit better. So I'm kind of blending it up also towards the top with my bronzer. And I usually go ham with my blush because I love blush. Can't forget to glow. So I'm gonna use my J Cat Beauty You Glow Girl Baked Highlighters. I actually have two that I'm gonna use. The first one is in Twilight, which is more of like a rose gold. I think this would be really beautiful on like medium and like tanner, darker skin tones. But I'm gonna mix it today with a lighter one. And the lighter one is in Moonlight. I'm gonna use my Do Care Highlighting Brush, which is a dupe for Anastasia A23. Again, I will link it down below. It's from Amazon, it's only $5. So I'm gonna dip into the darker color and then I'm gonna dip into the lighter one. So literally dipping into both. I found that when you first get the highlights, they're pretty, but it's like the more that you use them, the more intense that they get. It's like you gotta get past that first layer. Now we can finish up the eyes and lips. And we'll be all done. So for the eyes, let's start off with just highlighting the brow bone first. I'm gonna use the same J Cat highlighter and I'm gonna use the shade Twilight. Take that and just apply it in the inner corners. Oh, I love it. And I'm also gonna, yes. Oh my gosh. 
Then for the lower lashes, I'm going to go back into the Velvet Rose palette and I'm going to start off with that brick red shade. I love that color. I'm dragging it so low because you guys know I love doing that. A little bit of the darker color as well is going to go under there. I'm just mixing the two. All right, and then I'm gonna line my waterline with the black. I really wish I had like a burgundy liner, but I don't know if the drugstore has any. I think probably NYX, but I don't own a color like that that's drugstore, so I'm gonna just use a black. Finally, for the eyes, I'm just going to apply some bottom lash mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. I love this. It literally is a mini brush mascara, so it makes it really easy to get on your lower lashes and make them super long. Okay, now for lip liner, I'm gonna use my favorite. This is the Perfect Precision Lip Liner from LA Girl in Bare. I cannot not use these. Like, no matter what look I'm doing, I always seem to go back to the LA Girl ones. These are like $4, and it's a pencil, which I normally don't love wooden pencil lip liners, but these are so creamy and long-wearing, and they just glide on. So I'm gonna use this one to line my lips, overline them slightly-ish. And I'm gonna top that off with my e.l.f. liquid lipstick in Blushing Rose. I love the applicator on these. It makes it so easy. It's like a nice little spatula. It's like my favorite. So I'm gonna just apply one layer. You literally cannot layer these. I feel like with any liquid lipstick, if you layer it more than once or twice, it's gonna crumble, so don't do it. Oh, I love this color. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. So last and final thing I'm gonna do, of course, is set my makeup. Once again, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Setting Spray because I love it. So that completes this look. Let me know what you guys think. I really love this look. I love everything about it. I think it could be perfect for a date night, homecoming, anywhere where you're wanting to look glam but you still wanna look you know, like not too much. This is flash proof, sweat resistant. It's gonna last all day. And I mean, I, I just love it. And you're gonna be looking really good on a budget. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Thank you so much for everything. I will leave everything that I use down below if you're interested. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in a few days in my next one.